Hey guys, it's D-Lo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I transformed this gift box I picked up from Dollar Tree into a toilet paper holder. Um, this box comes in three sizes. I want to say this is the largest one, and at the time that I got it, I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but as you saw, the toilet paper I picked up, I, I usually buy pretty large rolls, and they fit in there perfectly, so it was just meant to be. So I did pick up two boxes. And this one I already spray painted with the Rust-Oleum painting primer in black. So that's dry. So here I'm getting ready to go over that with this Craft Smart metallic paint in silver. And I'm just going to be going over it in like short, small, quick strokes um, to create texture. Um, so I'm just going all around the box with that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the lid. And it's so funny, you guys. Um, I noticed on the playback of this video that... When, once I get into something and I'm really focused on it, I like constantly press my lips together. So you're going to notice it and it's just so hilarious. I had no idea I did that. And I probably wouldn't believe anybody if they told me unless they showed me like I saw in this playback. So it's just funny fact. I, I had no idea I did that. So um, the reason I'm even doing this project is because you know how some people have their toilet paper on display in a cute little basket or a bin next to their toilet or somewhere in their bathroom within reach. Well, I don't really have the space and I, I prefer not to really, you know, display my toilet paper. I don't know, it's just some weird thing. So because of that, I store my toilet paper in the closet. And all I have at the time is the roll that's, you know, on the toilet paper holder. And you know how sometimes you run out and you're not done. And so I had a couple issues. <laughs> so to prevent that, I, I'm going to be making this to put behind my toilet, and it's decorative. It's cute. It's almost like inconspicuous. You really don't know what's in there, and I like that. I like that you don't know that that's toilet paper. So that is what inspired me to do this project. So here, going around the box with this ribbon I picked up from Dollar Tree, it's so cute. It's like chunks of glitter in different sizes all around the ribbon, and it's just so pretty. I, I had no idea what I was going to be using it for at the time but I'm glad I bought it all right so I'm going around that gluing it down with the hot glue you guys I think I burned myself a couple times with the hot glue during this project so be careful I know sometimes all you can use or the best thing to use is your finger but just be careful because that hot glue is hot and it will burn you um, I'm gonna start working on the lid and so this here ribbon is like a glitter ribbon that they always have around Christmas time at Dollar Tree so I picked that up around Christmas time and I, I really didn't like the way it looked and next I'm going to try this uh, sheet of rhinestones and I picked that up from Dollar Tree but um, and I picked it up recently actually but I don't know I just didn't like the way it looked with the ribbon that had already attached so here this is trim and I, I want to say I got the trim from Michaels back around fall clearance and um I want to say I pay like 60 cents for the little roll of the trim and it's, it's really cute. So I'm just trying it out in different areas. I think I'm going to I end up putting it as a border to the ribbon on the top and the bottom. So yeah, just going to get that down. You guys, I forgot to mention that um, before I even spray painted the box black, um, the box originally comes with glitter on the top, so I did sand the glitter off, and I just used what I had, which was like a medium grit sandpaper that I, you know, have from previous projects. Um, so I sand that off, and I kind of dusted it off before I spray painted. So keep that in mind that if you buy a finished box from the Dollar Tree, then you'll have to do that. Um, I know they sell these types of boxes at like the craft stores, like Michaels or maybe Joanne Fabrics. Um, but I was just at Dollar Tree at the time, and I don't know if those stores have this size, so you know, you can try it, but for sure, I'm pretty sure this box will fit the largest roll of toilet paper you can find if you want to, you know, recreate this project. So just remember, you, you want to sand off the uh, glitter from the lid on these um, boxes. Alright you guys, so here I'm getting ready to work on the lid, and this is a knob that I purchased from Amazon. I want to say it's been a couple of years since I got those, and they come in like a 12-pack. They are still available on Amazon if you're interested, but you know, those are what I had on hand. And here's like a little tackle box 
box of uh, rhinestones and I got that from Walmart and it has just different sizes of rhinestones and I'm just playing around with it seeing what kind of pattern I want to make and I end up um, going around it with larger rhinestones and then in between the larger ones are where I place uh, smaller rhinestones so I went around that until I got that done and then I just hot glued that little knob right in the center of the lid. All right, you guys, so here's the finished product. Um, it's in my bathroom right now, and so now I will no longer have that problem where I run out of toilet paper. I will always have a backup, myself or my guests, and it just really looks nice in the space. You see how it kind of just blends in. It, it doesn't stand out in a negative way. It just kind of looks like it's part of the decor. And that there is like a, a painting I did a couple years ago. I was trying to create like a Z Gallery inspired piece. So yeah, I just have that in my bathroom. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. it. It goes perfect. I also did make one for my daughter's bathroom. While my bathroom is like glam and it's very sparkly in there, hers is like a beach inspired coastal themed type of bathroom so you'll see um, I'll show you a picture of how hers turned out as well well that concludes this video I just want to take the time and thank you for watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I do try to come up with DIYs that are practical that work for me and I know that if they work for me they work for someone else out there so I have no problem sharing I'm glad to do so so again thanks so much you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one bye